Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crablord back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing something different. Instead of showing you how to get a certain sound of a different artist today, what I want to do is start doing like deep dives on very important plugins you got to use. For example, this one is the Space Designer, okay? So what I'm basically going to do, I'm going to lay down some lyrics and then I'm going to just mess around with the Space Designer, see all the different settings it can do and see all the different ways you can use it and make your vocals sound different. I'm not going to talk about anything else but that. If you're new to the channel, I just want to let you know that I'm not like a professional person. I do everything by ear. I don't know the logistics behind it. I just like what sounds good. Now, not everything I do sounds good, but it's for the sake of the vid. Anyway, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and the notification bell as well so you never miss a video that I post, even though this is late. Also, make sure to check out my description down below. I got a lot of sweet things down there. Preset packs, like all my equipment, all my social media, a distro kit link to get 5% off your music on Spotify, iTunes, etc. And then my music, which is old, but if you've been following me, I've been spending a lot of time making my own music now and it sounds a lot better than it used to. It's gonna be coming soon, so don't think I'm being too lazy on you. But keep me in check though, because I've been waiting too long to make these. Anyway, we're gonna dive deep into the space designer, so let's do it. Now, I want to say before we start, the Space Designer is one of the most important plugins you want to use ever. Okay? Okay, um, if you look at my screen, you can see things that are happening. Now, you can see the vocal chain I'm on, and it's a preset that I made, Crab Lead Verse. I made a little beat from Loops, it's kind of cool. We're gonna start right away and go like this. You want to activate a bus, and go to bus 2, because this one, that one's for the uh, beat, I think, and it's annoying me. So in bus 2 right here, you want to put Space Designer in a bus because it's way too powerful to just be on the track itself. You can do it. I'm not telling you you can't, but I don't recommend it. Reverb, Space Designer, and then Stereo. We have it up now. Now I'm gonna record. It's not act It's not on any settings yet, so let me just record some bullcrap. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to use Designer, yeah. My freestyle skills are whack. I sound like a sack, but it's okay. You don't have to watch me anyway. Obviously, I'm putting on pitch correction because I am insecure. So what I would normally do with the space designer is I'd go into it. All right. And now my favorite setting is um large space plate 2.6 second vocal, which is so simple. You just shoot it up to zero and then. What I would do is I'd turn it up to about like 22. This is what it sounds like. If you talk on this, it's kind of a deeper reverb. Let's turn it down a little bit in the actual thing. This is basic. I basically do this in almost all my tutorials. Okay, but we're gonna switch off it. I don't like it. With the bus knob set at negative 10, I wanna go through all the sounds that I can come up with here. So large spaces, you got rooms. What you can do is click the 1.4. Jazz vocal room, metallic room. I guess this one's all right. And then we'll go down to chamber one. Hello. I like this one. Hold on. Gonna teach you how to use space designer, yeah. What else? There's a lot to go through, so I'm gonna go through. Now we'll go through halls. A 1.3 second choir hall. I'm gonna teach you how to use space designer, yeah. That one's kind of nice. We'll skip all the way to 4.4. What does this one do? Oh. Designer, yeah. Dream Hall. Let's move on. Um, Ulm Lobby. Ha. Ah. Hello. Can you hear me? Let's see what we got here. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to use Space Designer, yeah. Let's skip all the way into the big boys, the long dream. These sound better than the plate ones. What am I doing? Mid-level. Stairs. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to use Space Designer, yeah. My freestyle skills are whack. I sound like a sack. But it's okay, you don't have to watch me anyway. I just figured something out. This video is going to be all over the place, but it doesn't matter because what I just realized, you can click Output EQ. Look at these little things. There's volume, envelope, or whatever ENV means. There's filter. For example, let me sit, let me talk. Turn it on, okay? Look. Volume. You can turn it down. Can you? Yeah. You can make it, you can make it funky, you can make it fresh. Hello. Hello. Ah. Uh, uh. Ah. Ah. Okay, look. 
Oh my gosh, so we're learning things here. What I'm thinking that is doing, this is what I'm processing this as. So as you can see, I'm grabbing this little piece here. Wherever the blue starts is where the reverb is going to start on the vocal. So say I have it fully up. So when I start talking, you're going to hear it right away. So ready? Ah. Now if I pull it away, you're going to hear me talk, and then it's going to be later. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So it's like less. You can hear more of your regular voice into the background. It goes in the background. So what is in the front? It's in the front, in the back, and in the back. Now we'll move on. I'm learning more. Like, I've been doing this for so long, and I really have not known this. Like that. I like it there. Now, what is filter envelope? Or filter end? Ha. 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 Low. 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 When I talk, it sounds like a background track to a scary movie. Ha. Okay, you see what it's doing? It's like you can lower it so, like, right now it feels like it's above my head. And when you lower it, it's just chilling low key like I'm in a dungeon. <laughs> We're designing spaces right now. That's very ominous. In the EQ. Which I never knew this was a thing either. So I guess you can technically do what you do to a normal EQ. How do I shrink it? Mess with it like that. A little drop. Let's give it some rays. Now what do I sound like? Having fun. Let's raise it all the way up. Ha! I sound like a video game character. I see you have arrived. In my dungeon. I'm gonna hang myself. That's cool to do. Now, can we mess it up really badly? Hm. Can you hear me now? Using spaces that are like I have right now, with all the settings I just showed you, the reverb I have is basically you can create your own little background noises. It will not sound like a voice. For example, imagine this in a horror movie, and you know, I'm not using real instruments or anything, I'm just being airy. Let's change the length really low. With all those settings, we'll make it a second. What does it sound like now? Ah. I'm sorry. Hello? Uh, we covered the large spaces. Basically, the outdoor, indoor, spring, they're all kind of similar. Now, this segment, we're going to be going into the warp large spaces, and I'm going to go through each one. I'm just going to click through each one and talk on it, and you can hear for yourself what it sounds like and which one you think is the best. Okay, we're going to start with bomb tail. Bomb tail. Gunshot. Ha, ha. Backward rolls. But it's okay, you don't have to hide. Hello. Guitar echo. Shadows. I'm gonna teach you. Now, if we were to make the length of every long. Spaces in between. Hello. Whoa. How do you? Long sweep. Whoa. Salt mine. Deep space. Alien chatters. Eh. Black hole. Shooting star. Rewash. Sonar detection. Vocal echoes. Form and stutters. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Warp. This one's funky. Iron engine. Whoa. Space calm. Weird delay. Lasers in the sky. That one's cool. Long breeze. Fractal. All right, let's move on. Um, short and medium basically is gonna be better for rapping instead of singing. I think large space is perfect for you want some good reverb on singing vocals. Now that we have warped, we have warped effects. Let's go over the warped effects. Oh my God, there's a lot. Okay, in warped effects, texture, there's a million. 
Now warped effects is cool because these are not like what you put on your vocals. These are like cool effects that are kind of hidden. You wouldn't think there's like these many effects within a space designer. Hallowed bells. Heavy air. Luminous surface. Morphing box. This is an ominous one. As you speak, you have a little bit of a flare behind your voice. Kind of cool. Outlying shelter. Wait, that sounded cool. This one sounds cool too. How are you supposed to use these is my question. Eh. Pilot tone. This is definitely the coolest one. Ruh. Reawakening. These can be used very, very well. Don't know how you do it. But we're going through them all. Seclusion. Silken. Soft assembly. There's so many to choose from, too. Surging bells. I would put this on, like, instruments instead of voices, but teardrop. Textures. Tiny sparks. This is the first thing you hear as you start to lose your mind. Trinkets. Wet. Getting wet. Dark. Ray gun. Ray gun. Well, I don't know what more I can do. <laughs> anyway, that's about it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as well as learned something as well. Because I did, actually, and I'm not making that up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below and leave a comment. Tell me what you think and what I should do next. Also, like I said before, make sure to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, notification bell as well. My description's full of crazy things that'll help you and me. Anyway, this has been a Crab Lord exploring the Space Designer plugin in Logic Pro 10. One of the best plugins you can actually use. Probably the most important one. Like always, we out.